Hello, my name is Ryan and this is my YouTube channel Nexus 7 Music. I'm going to be doing a few videos on modular synthesis. So I thought I would start off by explaining the basic building blocks that make a synth voice. If you're looking to make some melodic patches, kind of go for, you know, more traditional synth sound, then hopefully this will point you in the right direction. So the key components of your synth voice is your sound source, first of all, which is your VCO and your oscillator. Then you have your VCA, which is a voltage controlled amplifier. This is a very good tool for shaping the sound. It can obviously turn signals up, but uh, depending on your VCA, it can add different characteristics. Uh, and as I'll show you later on, depending where you put that in the chain and how you use that with your envelope uh, can really make a difference to the sound. Then next you have your envelope, which kind of works in conjunction with your VCA. Uh, and then you have your filter. So in most hardware synths, you know, not necessarily in that order, but these are the kind of core components that will, you know, make each voice or the main sound of your synthesizer. So with my setup, I have the Tor S Squid, which acts as a sequencer, which sends information to the modular. So it sends CV, which is pitch and note information, telling the oscillators what notes to play. And the gate information is telling the modular when I'm playing a note or when a sequence is playing a note. Just so you know, this yellow cable here, this is an output and it's plugged into a mixer module, which is going into my audio interface. So this will be moving around as we add different components into these patches. Just so you're aware, this it will always be at the end of the chain and it's just going to the output. So I'm going to start off by just patching in a square wave so you can get some sound. So this is the, just the VCO on its own, straight up square wave, drone in away. So this orange cable here is sending CV information from my sequencer. So what it's doing is it's sending one volt per octave information, which tells my oscillators what pitch and notes to play. So what you want to look out for in your oscillators is a one volt per octave or CV input. Uh, traditionally, that's the naming like here on this tip top module, but we're going to go for the Roland today and because they want to be a bit different, their input for CV is called key which actually does kind of make sense because, you know, pitch key and all that, but yeah. Okay, so now we're receiving pitch information. So from here, I'm just going to unplug the output. So the next step, you're going to take your VCO output and you're going to plug that into the input of your VCA. Now, your VCA is going to amplify the signal, but depending on what VCA you have, it's going to have different characteristics, which is going to change the sound. My VCA here, I've got the Mutable Instruments Veils. Now, I like this VCA, one, because it acts as a mixer, so all your outputs... If you don't plug anything in and you have these inputs, but you have no outputs plugged in, it will cascade and you kind of sum these together, which is really cool. And this has got this function where it changes its response from exponential to linear, which basically means turning that knob changes the characteristic and how the VCA reacts to certain sounds. So you can get quite a few different sounds. And what I've noticed is that depending on whether it's like a normal kind of a plain melodic sim voice or if it's percussion, changing that kind of curve will just give it a slightly different response and different sound. For the next stage of our patch, you want to take your square wave output and that's going into your input of your VCA. So most VCAs, you'll have an input, you'll have a CV input and you'll have your output. Already you can see a light here, and if I give this some volume, there we go. So now if I take my output cable, plug that in. Now you can see with the veils, it's obviously, this is disconnected all the outputs, because I've plugged an output here. Ramping up the VCA, let's get some grit. So already you can hear the sound is more aggressive, a bit more character. Now.
changing the response of the VCA. Again, slightly changes the sound. Kind of gives it, depending on how much you drive the VCA, they'll kind of give you different characteristics. And when we start putting more blocks into this basic patch, you'll kind of see how that can also uh, have an impact on the sound. So the next part of the patch is the envelope. And when I first got into modular, this used to confuse me because you don't go from out of your VCA into the envelope and then into the next part of your patch, right? Your VCA, your envelope, and the gate you're receiving from your sequencer kind of all work side by side. So they're part of the same block of this patch. So as soon as you apply an envelope to your VCA, it closes the VCA. So then it needs gate information for it to open. And this is kind of what confused me because the gate is going into your envelope and depending on how you're having the settings or your envelope will affect how long the gate opens, allowing sound to go through the VCA. So this purple cable, this is my gate output. So you want to take your gate output. So every time I hit a note on my sequencer, this is generating gate information. So I'm going to put that on the input of my envelope. Now take in the attack. Uh, every envelope again is slightly different, so I'll use the attack setting, but most envelopes you'll have kind of have a gate input and then an output. So this needs to go onto the CV input of your VCA. So already you can see that that annoying buzz, uh, this droning in the background has stopped. So now I've got something plugged into the CV input on my VCA. It's basically closed in now. So now the VCA is waiting for some kind of gate information to open it. So the envelope and the gate are kind of joined uh, and they are now working together to open that VCA. And now the shape of my envelope is going to affect how my VCA opens and allows that signal to come through. So, you know, the more sustain and release, the uh, the longer the note will be and you know the uh, slower the attack the slower the ramp up and the slower the attack of the actual sound will be so at the minute you can see this faint bit of signal we're not getting much here now that is because my vca isn't particularly loud so if i drive this a bit more there we go So now, add a bit of sustain and release. There we go. Now, if I had to drive my VCA a bit more. So with the Roland 540 envelope, you've got a fast and slow setting. So I set it to slow. Already without moving the sustain and release, that's holding open for a bit longer now. So if I really give that some release. Cool. So now I'm going to add an arpeggiator from the sequencer just to make things a bit more interesting. There you go, much nicer already. So you can hear when I stop there, that sound is still going through and I, that's kind of, I feel, because we're kind of cranking that VCA. So if you pull this back, it's a little bit more reactive to what we're doing with our envelope. Nice, already a bit more musical, a bit more usable. Now we have our VCA, VCA and envelope sorted. And already you can kind of see the difference the VCA makes. Again, let's just crank that a bit and we'll kind of mess around with the response curve.
that's down in Burrow and you can kind of hear the different textures you can get just from those kind of three blocks. So the next part of the patch is the filter. When I started learning about patching, this seemed to be the traditional synth voice patch. Mm. What I want to do first is we'll listen with the filter in and then what we're going to do is we're going to swap around and we're going to put the filter actually before the VCA because you can, you know, really in Eurorack, there's no rules um, and patching things in different orders can have different effects. Uh, so we'll have a listen to that in a second. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to take our output. So yellow cable. What we want to do now is we're taking output of our VCA and we're going to put that into our filter. Again, yellow output. Let's play around this VCA. So driving the VCA gives it a more aggressive kind of gritty sound. But when you back that off, it kind of lets the envelope work a bit more and you can kind of get some really nice percussive sounds in there. So now we've got our basic synth voice, right? VCO, VCA with an envelope into a filter. So if we swap this and change this round now, So let's take our VCO output and let's, just, let's actually go VCO straight into the filter. And then we're going to take the output of the filter and we're going to pop this into the VCA. And then our output will come straight out of the VCA now. Because we've got this mix module, obviously, you know, with your amplifier there, you know, you have to be careful with levels, especially, you know, Eurorack going into a uh, into an interface at line level is like a mega hot signal. That's why I've got nine of these. So, you know, I've got lots of individual outputs and I can, you know, use these uh, attenuators to bring that level down and control it. Let's just have a play around and listen to the difference. So you know, changing where the filter sits in that patch, I think kind of really changes the characteristic, especially when you whack the resonance up. Because where before, with the VCAs going into the filter, you know, you're driving the amount of signal that's going into that filter and is affecting that resonance. But when you do it the other way around, you've got your VCO, which is driving your filter. But actually, whatever kind of level you've got is kind of set there, and you're taking that whole signal and driving that into the VCA. When you're actually amplifying that, you're amplifying the whole signal with the resonance and you can kind of get a bit more grit out of it. If I just swap these back around, let me just play this again so you can kind of hear this kind of cranked up filter going into a VCA.
Let's change our background. Okay, so output, output the VCA is going into the filter. You can really hear the difference between those two patches, right? Cranking up the resonance, you know, you can hear that self oscillate. But when we swap that back around, You know, we're not getting that self-resonance anymore. But we're getting that super aggressive, amplified, filtered signal. Just to finish this off, because everyone likes a bit of effects, all I'm going to do now is just going to Plug this patch into my Pico DSP and let's just hear what that sounds like. So that's how you put together a basic synth patch, also covered about moving the filter pre or post VCA and also just had a look at the difference a VCA can make to the sound. I hope this has been helpful and if it has, chuck us a like or subscribe and I'll be doing some more videos very soon. Thanks.